Now, the stereo that came in this car was this, and I believe this car got the optional sound system upgrade. Only problem is there's no USB. We are putting in an RCD 340. Okay, need a plastic trim remover. Jimmy this up, be very gentle, because I have already broke it a little bit. With this plug out of the way, there is a T20 torque down there. So with this next bit, lift it from the back and pull it backwards because it's got these long prongs. Jimming it from the front, you'll just snap them. Two more T20 torques. There and there. Next is this whole assembly. get to there instead of just forcing it you have to pop these we have a plug under there another set of torques there with those out Two more, that's the last of them. That was four more, not two more. There we go. So I picked this one, which is an RCD 340. Now I picked this over a Clarion or a Pioneer aftermarket one because this is a genuine Volkswagen bit. I know it's the graphics are going to look really good and it's not going to be slow or glitchy or laggy. Now, I've got it from a company called Euro Upgrades. They reflash these to work with the old cars. They sell the adapter as well. You need that, otherwise your steering wheel controls won't work. It will plug in, but they won't work. I think all up it was about $500. As for the aerial plug, I found that mine had two sort of locating dowels whereas the plug only had room for one. So I did have to cut one off with a blade. And that is all working as it should. Now it's just uh, opposite of what I did before. This is exactly what I wanted. It looks good, it's quick, it's responsive. It's great. Now, a lot of the interior lights in this car are red, but not all of them. And I really like that. So, again from the Euro Upgrade shop, some red LEDs. Now, I think this area here is looking a bit dated. So, a few changes. So, fitting that and putting the plugs back was just the opposite of doing it in the first place. All up was about 40 minutes. Pretty straightforward.